Welcome friend to Technology channel. So we'll continue our journey in VUE JS tutorial. In the last tutorial we have installed VUE using npm and we have used over here and this is the app.js file we have created and this is our application name tn.n and here we created using a new keyword we create a VUE instance and we pass a set of object and this element take we have to give this id of this uh, particular division take where we want to access the properties and in this data section we can set any you know uh, name of variables and we can set the value we can also set a list of object city list and using the v4 keyword we can you know look through the city list and the value will be displayed in my earlier tutorial i explained it very slowly so you can have a look and this is look a little bit different but this is nothing but a chrome browser i have uh, minified it so that it will look in the same my color theme and i'm using visual studio code so i have created several other tutorial so you can go and uh, you know learn more about it visual studio code okay so without further ado let us continue our journey today i will discuss about the form element and the, uh, how to bind a model and component and a lot of other interesting thing so let's get started uh, i removed all other things so let me start with a name steve so we can access the name over here Okay, so the Steve is displayed over here. Okay, now I would like to explain you how to use a simple method to change the value of this on clicking a button. So you may write a little bit complicated than this, but this is will give a better idea about one of the click handler. So I have defined a button, so I can say that, say hi. Okay, this is any method we can use. And important thing is over here, so we can use v, v stand for vue and we can create a on handler. Instead of on, we can specify any method. So we'll discuss in elaborately in future tutorial. This is just to give an idea. So we can call method to say hi. Okay. So once, once somebody click on this button, so this say hi will be executed. But till now we not yet defined that. So we can define over here method column say hi okay and we will manipulate this name variable itself so how to access this name we can use this dot name is equal to welcome we can use this uh, you know name again so if somebody clicks say hi or we can say welcome steve okay say we can be hi or we can give any anything so that that means in this function we not explicitly passing this uh, name and also you remember we are not using this parenthesis call over here so this v on is a special attribute by vue and click is a kind of click handler so once we click this the say hi will be executed and all this variable we can access using this keyword. This referring to the current instance of it, this dot name. So we appended hi with the this dot name and assign it back. Okay, now just reload it. So this button will appear. So if you click say hi, hi Steve. Okay. So if you see over here, uh, once we set this data, it is coming uh, and displayed above the screen and once we click this button so we are changing the variable in the javascript then only it is you know uh, this is getting reflected so this is this is known as one way data binding so we can create a input element over here okay and if you change this name uh, value here so this will automatically get reflected so any change uh, in this input field so it will change automatically any variable use uh, use any in any of the page so this is this concept is known as two way data binding 
So this two-way data mining is quite popular in a you know Angular JS kind of framework. So now let's see how to use it. So for that we can let me create a input a and we can specify a V model. Okay, and we can give this uh, name of the variable. In our case, it is name. Okay, and we can uh, there are optional parameter like name. We can specify anything, but those are not needed. Okay, so V model name. So we are trying to access this name directly. So if I reload it, okay, just a second. I think uh, this is come automatically. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, sorry for that. I have used colon over here. Okay, now see, this Steve is automatically displayed over here. If from Steve, if I change to Rohan, so if you see this in the above, it is automatically getting changed. So this is the way two way data mining work. As soon as you change, you no need to bind. So if, for example, we can get rid of this button and we can get rid of this method and with very lightweight code available here we have access to variable so let us reload the space and wherever we change anything James so this value is getting updated automatically this is known as two-way data mining okay this this concept is extremely powerful and the way of simplicity this UI provide so you will feel a great pleasure working on this framework now uh, let me explain one very important concept in you know VUE. So I will slowly elaborate about it in coming tutorial but I will explain today also and we will go into deep dive later. So component is one of the very important concept. Okay. So, which is uh, in the Angular JS two is also is uh, quite popular and also React and also this is a part of new spec in the JavaScript as well. So, you can create a small component for a particular use case and you can you uh, reuse across the you know application wherever you want. So, you can embed your own HTML, CSS, and you can use across the thing with a very reusable fashion. So, for example, let's let us create a you know component employee. Okay, I will give a simple example. Employee, for example, let's say info. So let's say we, in this case, we created one, uh, you know, paragraph to display the name, and we can create uh, to display its ID. Okay, and we we expect this to pass a employee object, which will contain this uh, name and id values so whoever pass this value so we will display this particular you know uh, uh, name and id as a, a template so this we can you know uh, use some css to style it and we can do anything so we can also give this tag as employee info so whoever call this employee info so uh, this paragraph and will be replaced in the runtime so they don't need to write you know tens lines of code because for this example I have only paragraph paragraph but even though I change one place so all the place this component is being used will be changed so we can reuse this particular code snippet across our design reuse okay so to use it we have to you know just to say this is as a properties props so we can uh, specify that which are the properties we are looking for and we can specify this is this is known as template so template we can refer into another file or we can write in, into the inline template and whenever we are calling so this particular tag along with this tag we can use a you know n bind n uh, n uh, sorry v v stand for v u e then we can bind and whichever the variable we can give we can give as a you know column emp then we can pass the variable what is this variable we don't detect so this can be anything but this should be with the same signature as what we expecting so the name can be anything so it will assign to here and in the runtime this will get the name and id will display this thing so this is our component 
and we can use BUE component to uh, create a component. This creating is very straightforward and simple. Okay, so so let me uh, create an example so that it will become very easier. Okay. In this init method above this application, let me create a component. So we can define BUE component. Our tag, this is known as our tag employee info. Okay. This is our component and also as well as our, you know, tag name also. So here we can pass the properties. We can see props. Uh, we can say an array of object. For, for us at this moment, we have only employee. This is one object which contain name and, uh, you know, uh, ID, uh, template. This template we can give anything. For example, now we'll create a lie element and instead of span we can do with the uh, name is equal to instead of this lengthy name employee let me give employee dot name okay i have to use curly bracket so that it will know that this is a you know variable okay let me copy paste and now i will give this id employee id okay and let me give some space and bsp this is the character entity in html so it will give the space so we have defined a uh, component employee hyphen info this is the component name as well as my html tag name so i can use with the uh, html syntax and this is the props this is my object name or this is my input name so whatever i can use it inside the employee dot name or this kind of thing so inside the data we can create employee list okay let us create an employee list we have we have to create an array and i will create a set of object uh, for example name steve then we have property id a small letter i believe one two so then let me create another name james id 13 let me create one more name hulk i think i did correctly so let me this is commented correctly only never mind so this is the same application i'm using okay now now let us create a division with id tn up now let us here we can create ul element and inside inside it because it is a li element right we can start creating employee info tag okay so this is the component we are using in this fashion so this name is same as the employee info so the first thing we can do we can use v4 this is a for loop okay we can use uh, in okay i think i'm using column here and there i think here we should use uh, equal symbol employee in m we have to give this uh, variable okay so also here we can use b because once we are iterating and one by one it is assigning our in this variable employee but because we, our component is looking for this uh, empl input so we have to assign or bind this employee to this empl then only this will recognize it so p hyphen bind i am again using equal to so here um, we have to use column empl we can use employee because this bind is also you know uh, a 
take or for this uh, BOE. So we don't need to give a uh, parenthesis over here. So we can use directly variable because only where whenever we are using plain vanilla HTML, then only we have to give this expression with uh, two curly bracket so that it will differentiate between HTML and a you know variable. But if you are using any attribute which is specific to BOE created, so there is no need to give that parenthesis. So I think we are done with that. So now that is right. Yeah, see it is working properly. Name, column. Uh, Steve and ID. So if for example, if you want to change anything uh, Let's say instead of spam. I want to give this. This is as a bolt Okay, so let me reload it see this is ball and ID let me uh, give it to as a italic So anything you you can change it, but the benefit of it that uh, For the simple example you may not see the benefit because why you are, have to do this whole thing but think in a scenario that this employee information you want to use in 10 places across all your application. And there are sidebar, navigation, header, footer, and you name it, and address section. So you can create this component as per your section, and you can reuse across. So this is an extremely good practice, even though you initially you don't need it, but I would highly recommend that you create this component architecture, and even though you have a bunch of code, so you can try to use it so that you define a little bit more code in the initially so you may feel that why I should need it but this will be really helpful in the long run for you know categorize your application in a proper fashion okay so I think uh, it is uh, enough for today so we have uh, discussed you know uh, the component today and we have discussed the input and the two-way data binding and how we can uh, call a methods using it so hope hope you uh, enjoy the video tutorials if you like it kindly like this video and please subscribe to it spread this you know tutorial so that a lot of other people will get benefited and i will also get a little bit motivation saying that my efforts are of being of utilization to some people thanks seven thanks again have a great day ahead bye bye